Hey guys, it's Blade again from Corridor Security. Today I'm here to talk to you about the new Pioneer unit, the SPH D8160 DAP. Now this is their brand new entry level Apple CarPlay and Android Auto unit. So we'll go through what comes in the box, the stereo itself, and we'll do an up close of the actual features on the stereo. So first of all, we have the unit itself. Now, on the face of it, you have a 6.8 inch capacitive touchscreen, and then you have touchpads down the side, which basically means you don't have any buttons on this, which means it's flush. So that's nice. On the back of the unit, you have your standard ISO loom to connect to your adapter for your vehicle, but it does differ slightly from others. So the connection on the back of the unit is a non-RCAs directly on the back, they're on extensions. So what you do have is a DAB connection, an FM, a mic, and a USB. Now I'll show you what else comes in the box, which includes the extension for the RCAs. Okay, so you also get a trim ring, <clears throat> a Bluetooth microphone, an auxiliary inputs. You have a USB extension to run around to your glove box for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have a rear camera input and a steering wheel control input. And these are the RCA inputs that I was talking about to plug into the back. So you have a front, rear, and sub output for your amplifiers. And you also have a rear monitor input as well. So if you're running a monitor on the back of, this, back of the car, you can do that as well. And the other couple of bits you've got left is the re standard removal keys, a little packet of screws, and your no normal information booklets. So we'll take a quick close-up look of the unit's features now, and we'll go from there, okay? Okay guys, so here we are at the stand. We have the unit powered on. As you can see, this is the main screen that you'll come to. Um, first off the bat down the side here, you have the touch pads, as I was explaining before. So you can turn the display off. You can go back to home if you're in a separate menu. You have a microphone, which is for um, voice command. So if you need to make a phone call or for Siri or anything like that, you can click on there. And then you have your volume up and down. So the color on here you can change as well. Now, on the main screen itself, you have the, the kind of quick connection tabs. I'll go through them quickly for you. So you have the DAB Plus, digital radio. Uh, you have re normal radio, which is FM and AM. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now these are slightly dim at the moment. They will light up when you are connected to either Apple or Android. Uh, same goes for USB and iPod. Once you connect a USB or an iPod, they will light up. Uh, you have Bluetooth audio and phone connection. And then on this side, you have an AUX input, if you're running through AUX, a rear view camera, if you have that connected, and then screen mirroring. So that is pretty much the basics of the unit. You can also go into settings, you have standard sit system settings and uh, basic EQ and audio settings as well on this unit. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you'd like to see how the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto works, we have a few other videos that we've gone through and shown you is exactly the same on the other units as it is to this one. Okay guys, so that was a quick overview of the new SPH DA160 DAB. Hope you liked the video. As I said, it is an entry level Apple CarPlay Android Auto unit. So it's very good to get yourself into that market if you're after it. Now we do have this available on our website at carradiosecurity.com and it is available also for fitting at our workshop in West London. Um, so take a look at that. Now we do also have a few more of these videos that have already come out. If you, so if you're in the market for a new stereo, please just go back and look to see if there's another option for you um, and just have a look at them. But also if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe and share it to your mates. And also if you just hit the bell notification as well, keep yourself updated with the future videos and we'll see you in the next video.